one thing I must actually ex emphasize on is your composure when answering questions. All right, when you're answering questions, you need to show a level of cleanliness. All right, it makes the staff marking it much more happy. So like this question, they said that what? Let me see, this is a full one. Okay, forget all these things. It was not included in the question. They said that discuss the structural specializations of epithelial cells for absorptive function. Now, let me show you guys one mistake that people always do. People just go and start listing microvilli, cilia, brush border, basement membrane, what, what, what. Do you understand? Instead of grouping these things. Now, the structural specialization is grouped into what? The apical structural specialization. That's what. How the cell has developed its top for absorption. It is also what grouped into the lateral specialization. Now, the lateral specialization is how this cell is communicating with this other cell side by side for absorption. Then we have the basal what classification or specializations. Now, the basal uh, specialization, we are trying to look at how this cell has developed its bottom. Okay, maybe to anchor it, okay, so that I can stand, withstand the pressure and absorb for the body. Okay, so you have to actually what group it into what apical specialization, lateral specialization, and basal. If you just go and start listing it, a wicked examiner might not even give you any mark, okay? Because you need to actually what be how I put it, you need to be neat in your answering of questions all right so the first specialization we'll be talking about the apical one this is it the apical one how the cell has what developed its top for absorption the apical ones you can see cells having microvilli okay and this one will increase the surface area for absorption you could see some cells having cilia this one helps what to move substances along the epithelium surface okay so maybe this substance actually dropped on the cell. It can be absorbed here. So you move the substance to another part of the cell that can be absorbed. Do you understand? Then we have the brush border. These ones are specialized microvilli that could be found in the small intestine. All right. Then we have enzymes. Enzymes are embedded in the apical membrane. Okay. And what is the function of enzymes? They help to break down substances. Okay. Then we have the glycocalyx. This one is a layer of what carbohydrate on the apical surface. All right. So all this are basically what how the cell has evolved to develop its top layer for absorption. Now let's move to the uh, to the basal specializations. This one is basically what the base of the cell. Okay. How can the base of the cell help the cell in absorption? All right. So have basement membrane. This one acts as what a filter. And support epithelial layer. So if there's no filter there, anything that goes through the cell just go into your body and all that, which will not be good. Okay. So this one acts as a filter for that. Then we have hemidesmosomes. This ones they anchor the epithelial cells to the basement membrane. If not, the cell can be pushed away. So the hemidesmosomes will anchor the cell in one place so that it can absorb better. Okay. Then we have basal lamina. This one says that is a layer of what extracellular matrix secreted by what epithelial cells okay then uh, moving then we said that we have a type of specialization that is what that is basically side by side if this is one cell this is another cell how are they communicating side by side that's a lateral specialization so they can form tight junction which is still spaces between the cell and direct trans substances through the transcellular roots if this is open Substances will enter here, but if it's tight, the substances will have no choice than to go through the cell. As simple as that. All right. Then um, adherence junction. This one, they hold adjacent cells together. Desmosomes. This one is a strong adhesion between the cells. It's still the same thing. Gap junction. This one allows for direct communication and transport of molecules between the cell. Okay. That's if one cell wants to send one substances to another cell, they do it through the gap junctions. Okay. So those are basically what the apical, lateral, and basal specialization of epithelial tissues for absorptive function. Beautiful, right? <laughs>